What's up, guys? Here's a, another tutorial, actually, where uh, tutorial for uh, how to use how to utilize your uh, old uh, damaged uh, laptop uh, LCD screen. Uh, I've done this tutorial and, and uh, one year ago, so quite many people asked me for many things, and that tutorial was uh, dragged out as well. So what I'm going to do here today is uh, just quickly, straight away, go through with that one. I bought that controller about a year ago from uh, eBay.com, from eBay. And uh, it was a pretty easy one. It came from China. Uh, actually, what information I have to give them actually is uh, is what this what display I have got and how many how many backlights it's got. And so it's like because how many backlights it's got because I have to provide them this inf with this if they know the how many backlights they are, so they're going to provide me these sort of a high voltage module which is LVD they call them something like that. So. So they had to provide me them, so that's why only thing is that was the only reason I, they told me that. And uh, the, the display I have uh, got is uh, I was willing to go for a sort of a different module where you got a very where you got an analog where you can put a VJ DVI port on it, VJ port on it, and analog input and various things on it. But it was not compatible with the board I was willing to go for was not compatible with the LCD which I bought so you have to be remember that what you are buying and which is compatible or not because if it's not compatible what will happen it will not even run at all so simple description about the board is this board has got uh, a DVI port a VJ port and a 12 volt plug it's a it can go from um, you should have a 12 volt power supply 12 volt power supply and uh, you're talking about, about uh, Minimum of two ampere and maximum of about four ampere will do the job good on this this sort of board. And uh, ribbon cable they were already provided. This has all been provided as well because this ribbon cable varies with respect to what display you got as well. So first of all, we're going to do it. We're going to install this to install this uh, all hardware with the uh, with LCD screen. Then we're going to I'm going to connect it to my laptop, which is next to the video, next to next to my computer. So once I connect it, I'm going to show you how it's working on that. So it's a pretty quick and brief description straight away. So let's, let me go quickly go over it. Turn, turn the back of it. Once you turn the back of it, I'm going to put it all in this side anyway. So this is a ribbon cable which is going to go here, right there. So like that, like this way. So when you're doing a permanent job, you always remember when you do that job, you just need to slide slowly. Slide in. Once you slide it in, it's always it's always a good practice to put some sort of tape on top of it, because if you put a tape on it, the joint will be solid. It won't go off for a while. Actually, it will it will be pretty good. It won't make any, it won't do any damage. Actually, that's that's the main target. What we need. So we just cover up a bit of tape on top of it. So it's covered here. All right. We're gonna turn it over, turn it over, and put it right right here. I just want to put it right there, some, some, I mean, because I wanted to use that area. So I can't use that area. So what I'm going to do is, we, I'm going to put a, some some sort of paper so it's all. I don't want this board to touch the bottom of anything. So I just want to use as a safety feature. I'm going to do that way. So squeeze it that way. Put it, put it just down here. Just down here. hooked uh, now we need to we need to connect the LVD on here so we need to make sure that it has to go properly and connected because if it's the wrong way that could damage the backlight too you gotta be careful with that so I guess it's a bit bit difficult so I need to do that so I might might go down that way I might go down down that way so so backlight is connected ribbon cable is connected this information, this has got all the power power switches and on and off buttons and the function wise. So these are the functionality buttons. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the VJ cable first. I have got a VJ cable right with me here. So I'm gonna connect it on VJ this time. So next time I can show you with the rest with the, when I connect to my Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna show you that one as well. So it's, it's connected with the VJ now. This is a bit of touchy right here. I'm gonna put up another cable the protection around it so it don't hit anything you know don't want 
don't want to see any surprises, sort of. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is just connect this to the VJ. Now let's power it up. So 12 volt adapter. I'm using this 12 volt adapter as you can see that 12 volt adapter. Simple 12 volt, two amps, two ampere. Very nice, heavy adapter. Pretty good one. Won't cost you a lot. So here we go. Just plug it in. It's all in now. I'm just going to press this power button on it. On it. This is how it is. It's okay. Press the power button. See, the power light came on, and you can see the display right here. It's a clear display right there. Right there is just a clear display. You can see that, and it's all straight away working order. No hassle whatsoever. No need to work hard on it. You know, it's just straightforward job. So quickly, it's working order. So there you go. We have done uh, our job here, right here, and I'm sure if, if you got any question about it, if, if somebody is struggling with it, that how to communicate with it, there are a couple of settings sometimes, you know, because displays are about these. This display is about 60 hertz, so that that might be the difficulty you might face. That's that'll be it. But but what you can do at least it has got a menu option. If I right click up here, if I put it up there, and if I follow this keypad right there. So if I press the, this button, which is menu button, right, first right one, it comes up with these options. You can scroll inside these options, and uh, you know you can do whatever you want with it. It's auto adjustable. Everything is auto adjustable at the moment, so it's working pretty good. And it only because the thing is, this display which I got from the laptop, well, it was also a very nice laptop display. It's a Lenovo IBM sort of thing. So. It was a pretty good one too. So next time I'm going to show you, make another video actually, where I'm going to connect this LCD screen with the, with my Raspberry Pi, with my Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to use the DVI to HDMI cable converter cable. So stay tuned for that video too. So please do subscribe if you would like to know more about it or any comments. If you want to know more about it, please write comment. If you like my video, please hit the like button too. Uh, I'm saying thank you very much for watching my video. Cheers, bye.